welcome back to the episode four. We uh, we're starting off really with just uh, gathering a lot of stuff. I I had a lot of like uh, resin to get to you, so I tried to do this domain on my own, but uh, <laughs> I was too weak. I couldn't. So I uh, I asked my wonderful wonderful fiance for some help, so he could. Uh, Use these very overpowered characters to help me out in this domain. He helped me out with like domains and getting some like chests in the overworld. You know, we, we just ran around and had a good time together. Exploring the world of Teval as, uh, as you should, I guess. I do truly wish though that the multiplayer was, was a little bit better so we could do like quests and stuff together as well. But, you know... It is what it is, but it's still fun to have like a partner in crime when you're going around gathering a lot of stuff. It, it makes it more enjoyable and especially when the fights are <laughs> so freaking slow com compared when I'm, I'm with him. Like, look, look how long I used to kill that one enemy, just beasted these other enemies. So it was great. It was great having uh, having some help. And after, you know, getting all that nice help, we couldn't, or I continued more with the main story quest. I figured out, well, it's time. It is time to finally finish this off. Finish off the Archon quest of Mondstadt. So we started with, like, gathering with the crew and deciding that we're gonna, like, find the Valin and uh, try and try and help him move along. So after this, we basically just, you know, starting to go our way towards, uh, the Valens, uh ruins? Oh, Storm Terror's Lair. I mean, my bad. Um, not really that much interesting. We take some enemies on the way because, you know, we're gonna need all those materials, all the loot. Very beautiful. And yet again, we're just like going over our plan, what we're gonna do, what, whatever floats the boat. And yeah, there's there's not really... I don't understand why we have to stop so many times, but yeah, it's basically just going over the plan, pretty much. Not that interesting. I am, of course, a trump card, you know, Kibi Chad. Don't get any cooler or stronger than that. On my way, of course, I gotta get her all that I can get her. You know, you love, love the loot. We love it. It also, you know, go towards all the chests I need to gather in Monsta as a whole, so I can get even more primos. Gotta gather gather all the primals we can. And of course, we're here at the barrier. Venting have to uh, remove the barrier for us. And while he does that, we're gonna protect him from these very scary hilly churls. Can we do it? Oh, I don't know. But, you know, I have faith we can do this. Um, they, they really aren't that hard to beat. I, um, I am a strong, strong traveler. I can do this. Well, we won the fight, and now Venti have all the concentration and time he needs to dispel the barrier. Kaboom! He did it. Awesome. It's stuck. It's stuck. Also, why is Venti just repeating what Paimon said in such a way, and nobody is acknowledging it? Like, did he try to tease her? Was it a mistake? I don't get it. It's so confusing. I shouldn't get confused over it. I shouldn't probably think too much about it, but it's always confused me. Why? Why is it like, it's stuck. It's stuck. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I, I don't know, but it, I need to point it out because it annoys me. So now probably it annoys you too. <laughs> well, after all that, you know, we get our asses to the top of the tower. We realize we can't really enter it because there's like, again, there's a barrier. We have to, uh, we have to get away. So we're gonna pick up those uh, weird glowy triangles and um, we have to do that like all over the map to uh, to get in. So, you know, it, it gives us a tutorial here at the beginning how to do it. You know, this thing into this pillar and we're like, yay, great. We know how to do that. So after doing this here, we just quickly teleport and do it the other places as well because we gotta go fast. Or we don't gotta, but you know. I wanted to. <laughs> so on this next one, after gathering all of the like triangles, I was stuck for so freaking long. I could not like remember where I was supposed to go after this. I looked and I looked and I looked and I'm like, there I like, I, I even don't, I looked the right way, but it's like, I can't see it. Oh my God. In the end, I did find it though, but it took, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I used so long just figuring out where I was supposed to go. It was absolutely ridiculous. 
But now, when we have done all that, we can finally, uh, finally go and encounter Davalian. This part right here, so freaking boring. It's, you just have to fly, wait for these things to pop up, then you have to shoot them, and then when you get close enough, you can shoot Davalin. It takes freaking forever. Uh, very boring, but we got it in the end. After a long fight, we finally beat the Valin's ass, uh, and the whole domain kind of uh, it, it starts to destroy itself. But luckily, the Valin comes to save our asses. <gasps> Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. Freedom, if demanded of you by an Archon, is really no freedom at all. Is this the power of the Animal Archon? But I am no longer part of the Four Winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. And so, the Storm Terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. After defeating and curing the Valin, we were getting back and we saw that Amber and the crew had uh, had some other things they had to deal with. Hilly Charles attack, etc. So we now are gonna help them to uh, rebuild and fix stuff after uh, the whole ordeal. It's actually really, really nice. We are going around talking to some townspeople. Some wanted to help with the Valin, some are glad it's all over. It's actually really, really nice. We meet Kaya again, you know. He's, uh, you know being gracious, you're saying goodbye to Amber, is actually really sweet. They're kind of like sad it's gonna be goodbye, but again, it's not forever. I, I think the story is actually really sweet. It's sweet how connected everyone becomes. And also after this, we gotta deliver back the uh, liar to, uh, to the church and um, it's not going that good. <gasps> atone for these sins for the rest of my life it would still not be enough <sighs> oh give it here should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. 
At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin! Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. How impotent you've become. That smirky wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <clears throat> you should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't huh? be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste. <laughs> When the beholder has no taste. Fenty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. <laughs> After getting our ass beat by Signora and her crew, Barbara nursed us back to health and uh, Venti went to his tree to heal up. After this, this is basically the end of the uh, the Monstad Archon quest. We get to learn a little bit about the Gnosis and other deities by talking to Venti after. But yeah, this is, this is the end of the Archon quest. I'm not gonna start with Leeway Lee just yet. I still have stuff I wanna do. I'm gonna finish off Dragonspine. And I'm gonna make sure I level up and stuff. I'm not gonna record everything that I do, but I will definitely record all the, the quests that are like voiced. Other than that, you know, I'm a, there's a few more videos that I have ready to roll soon enough. Eventually, I'll do like a recap episode where we just like go over my account and talk a bit about it and stuff. Other than that though, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you back on the next one. Goodbye!